Well, what's happening, everybody? This is uh, another Deadliest Cast Fishing video. Uh, you guys already know me, I'm Captain Steve. Uh, this video I've been wanting to put up for a bit. Just, you know, takes time to edit these videos and whatnot. So, anyhow, uh, this is one of the one of the places I like to go fishing a lot. Although this trip wasn't what I expected. Um, and I know, you know, fishing trips are, are going to be guaranteed to be epic every time. Um, we had some obstacles ahead of us on this trip. We had a hurricane. Uh, but uh, this trip, we went to Bay of LA and Bahia de Los Angeles, which is six, eight hours south of the border. Uh, we went with some buddies of mine, buddy Pancho and some other friends. The Darius was there. Um, I normally don't do this, but I gotta just keep it real. So we had planned on going fishing with the certain captain down there. And uh, upon arriving, we got to fish with the same group of guys, but our captain decided to go fish with somebody else. So that really sucked because we had been talking to this guy for a few months, had our plans set. My first trip out there over to Bay of was with him and it was epic. And I haven't been back since, so I was really looking forward to going with him. Um, I get it, some, it happens, but it's not cool. So if you do go down there, just make sure you guys are going with who you're supposed to be going. Um, not that it wasn't a bad trip, but you know, our expectations were a little higher for being such a long drive from the Bay Area all the way down to SoCal and then crossing the border through Mexico, you know, evading a, a hurricane. Um, and fishing, I think, could have been better. And I kind of cut on to something, you know, which I know certain captains do. You know, they try to just do the bare minimum to get you on some fish. Uh, there was a few other boats that went out and loaded up on Yellowtail. 29, 30 Yellowtail in a couple hours. Why we didn't go? I don't know. Um, I almost got to the point where I wanted to take over the boat myself. You know, so with that being said, I don't know if I'll go back. Um, it's a long drive. You know, I went down there and caught three, four yellowtail and some random other fish. I just, I don't see myself going back there anytime soon. What I will be doing is I'll be going back to Mag Bay. Um, going to Mag Bay Lodge. My buddy Toby owns a place and I've always had an epic trip there. It's always fun. Other than that, my second favorite place to go in, in Baja is, is down with K&M and sunken thing so uh those are two places i highly recommend like i said not knocking bay of la but this past experience kind of sucked you know I, I know the hurricane didn't help us but we pretty much got to fish a half day and uh that's just a long journey for half day of fishing you know taking time off of work being having time off away from family to go down and fish for half a day and come back with four small yellowtail, maybe 10 pounds of fillets. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I don't recommend that. So, so there are some guys on there that get them. Um, I'm not sure who they were, but I think they're associated with the guys at Daggett's at the camp. So, uh, they seem to be on the fish consistently. You know, I'm not saying that our guy that we we're supposed to go with isn't, but I don't know what happened. He got overbooked, maybe the hurricane kind of forced him to take somebody else but it sucks because we agreed to go with him and you know he, he knew we wanted to go with him so uh that's horrible but anyhow we made the best of it i got some fish you know i did catch a fish on uh on the pit bull tackle on the board jig which is originally intended for link hot rockfish but uh something told me just you know just try it out you know uh i talked to the guys at Pitbull for a while and I said it these board jigs are going to catch some kind of pelagic fish soon whether it's a bluefin or yellowtail or something and I got it done um of course I'm using the Kavala's you know from Akuma and uh I got this from one of the shows but pretty neat you know it's got all the info on them these Kavala's are they're bulletproof I love them I, I use them for charters I use them for myself you know they're all kinds of stuff 17 4 grade stainless steel main and, and pinion gears corrosion resistant coating um 
they're machined, they're, they're nice, you know. Um, they come in different sizes from a 5 narrow all the way to a 12. You know, there's, um, there's a couple left-handed for you lefties out there. They also have the jigging version of it too, which is just a single speed. With the same handle as like the Makaira. Um, that made it a lot easier to pull up these jigs. We're dropping down 200 feet, 240 feet. Um, you can also use a you know a low profile bait caster like the Komodo. Those work fine if you don't want to do the whole whole line guiding thing. Uh, but anyhow, just enjoy the video. You know, like I said, we try to make the best of it with what we got, and uh, here it is. All right, so I'll see you soon. We're gonna be starting the the deadliest cast captain's quarter. I guess you want to call it podcast show episode, whatever. I got this room kind of dialed in. I'm getting a table put up, put some new lights. And um, we'll start bringing some some guests in here to kind of go over some tackle and some fishing trips, previous trips, adventures, to memories, just a bunch of funny crap that's happened throughout the years. Awesome things, epic trips. So uh, you guys stay tuned for that. Anyhow, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you in the water. Later. Ready? Ready, bro. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Right. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, we're going trout fishing. <laughs> catch some bluegill. Yeah, catch some bluegill. gas and keep it in the road. This is the town of San Felipe, so really nice. You guys say, D? Hey, almost there. Are you ready for me to catch your fish for you again? Uh, of course not. <laughs> Oh, 
So yeah, we got uh, another four or five hours of driving to go. So we'll see you when we get there. Make a quick stop. It's about 101 here. Out of shit. But I have some bomb seafood right now. Alright, check this out. Got some the shrimp tacos. It's too much of a mess to try to go inside. That's cool. Like I, I've been to the actual go inside. I did it when I was a kid once. Yeah. It doesn't change. We took the kids once and it was like, yeah. Kids are hungry. Oh, I got, I got this. Sure. Because I already got my ceviche too, so I've had it. Yeah, these are shrimp. Oh, I thought you said Mm. It's fire. Right. Right. He just wanted a rice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. that one. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah. The Good as hell. Mm. 
a little pickle done in here. Uh, makes it better. Sounds all bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Un chorrito de, de crema aquí, una cremita. Sí, ahí los tacos de adornado filete de pescado con marisco de abril y Crackers here. Ah, Different. Smoky. Smoky flavor. Smoky. Todavía no pega, pero ya, ya lo estoy ya, ya, ahí va, 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 ahí Yo no lo conocía, si usted ya le pegó. Es la ceviche rojo. Con shrimp. Camarón. Pero lo que me dio, se me hizo bien sabroso, pero para mí muy grande. Spicy, ¿no? No, no, no. ¿Qué te dice esto, Navi? Not yet. Right, bro. I heard it's spicy. No, but it's, it's got good flavor. I'll get it in a second. Huh? I, I, I can tell. It's delicious. You should at least try it. <laughs> you want me to die or what? Yeah. Really good. I'll just try a little bit. Trying to kill me over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See how long it takes before I go in the water. I go. I just go onions right here. Oh, that was really good. Really spicy. Mm -hmm. How's your food? Do you want a fish taco soup? Fish taco soup? 
The thing about it is like maybe. Yeah, hey man, it's got protein, so. I got some food. 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 I got some Hit the road about 9 a.m. 4:38. We just now got here to the LA. It was beautiful. It's about 106 degrees. But what a nice view! Check that out. We have Daggett's camp, the hotel we stay at. In the morning, the boats come pick us up and come get us. Very good stuff. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're in the room. Just trying to set up the rods. Got this uh, Kuma Kavala. This is a single speed. It's one of the jigging reels. It's the, where is it, the five? It's the five. The five and S. So single speed. And I uh, went through this on my PCH 761 medium. Oh, jigging rod. Great rod for yo yo. Come some jigs down deep. You know, maybe some surface irons with swim baits. We shall see. So, hook up our braid to our main line, to our floral to our braid. Depends on the rod. Huh? Depends on what rod you're using. This is just my lighter shit. I'm doing, I'm doing 30 on this one. Oh, yeah. So we got all the rods set up, most of them. Here, Darius, you're working on these RP nuts. We finally got them. That's what they call it, the RP nut. Check out Timo Kuma. Ready for the victory. And Competitor X. <laughs> we don't like those. Uh -oh. Let's 
5, 12 in the morning. And once again, it's hot as shit. What do you think? Yes, it's hot. Take it's that steamy. fucking... Steamy. Good. Hot, hot, hot. How do you, Bencho? What do you think? Oh, man, it's right in the oven. What? Yeah, he took his. He didn't know about it, but not. You bought the last ones. Oh, there were still people showing up. Oh, okay. It's like six in the morning, we're going to make a date. Uh, we got a bite here. Gotta make bait. <laughs> to be a master fisherman, you gotta be a master baiter. All right, so we're at the first spot. We're doing some deep jigging, yo-yo fishing, deep jigs. Two fifty to three hundred feet. See what happens. How deep is it here? Huh? 300. No. 240. That's how deep it is? Come on! There you go! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! There you go! On the Bora jig! To the bottom? Yeah, it's bottom just started reeling real fast. Thank you. 
Yeah. Check it out on the border jig from Pitbull Tackle. Nice. It's a Lincoln jig. I'm gonna get one on the swim bay next. Watch. Woo. What's up, blue team? Oh, that's not? I thought that was a blue team. Oh, they're still back there? Well, I guess the blue team right here. I was on the retrieve, it just... It's good, man. It's my first time. There you go, bro. Those there is. Let's go, Banjo. You had one on? You got off? Okay. more and more 
I'm pumped. Harder it gets. Got color. Hey, stuff. Boy. Look at this. <laughs> no, or not. Gotta get a headshot. Woo! Yeah? Is there a carnada, por favor? ¿Tiene carnada, primo? Sí. Por favor. Are you on D or what? Yep. Whew. Just got it back down and get another one. music <laughs> thank you Yeah. I got color. Yep. Yeah. 